morning, Real Fitters and Virtual Fitters, and welcome to Friday, the 28th of July, 2023, only a few days left of the month. So, posting into, going live into Virtual Fitness and Real Fitness this morning, this is your Pilates posterior chain. So, posterior chain is all of the muscles down your back, into your glutes and legs. So we're gonna get 15 minutes in. We're gonna get as many of those muscles in the back as I possibly can in that time. You will need today a long band if you've got, don't worry if you haven't, you can work without. Mini ball again, if you've got, fantastic. If not, you can work without, no problem. So get your equipment, get your mat, a drink handy, make sure you're feeling fine before you do this. And I look forward to seeing all your comments afterwards. So post below, let me know that you've completed this workout. And if you are loving these 15 minutes every single day, Monday to Friday, you will find me um, at 7.45, but of course you can go on demand as well. And you can pick any of these exercises up at any time. Okay, let's get cracking then. Got some beautiful music. This is my new music. This is a Go Chill part six. And it just, oh, I just like how it just combines all the music together. It's just so nice. So summery. Lovely. Okay, let's stand with our feet together. You're going to lengthen up through the body, relax the shoulders back and down, toes out, heels out. Feet comfortable into the mat, knees are strong but slightly bent. Roll the shoulders back and down and move through the pelvis. So just setting the pelvis into the right position before we start our session this morning. Tucking the pelvis under and then pushing the other way. So your pelvis, you can imagine, is just tilting forward and back. Hands on the front of your tummy or onto your hips. Whatever's good for you, all the way forward and back. Lift up the head, breaths in, breaths out. All the way forward, all the way back. And then I just want you to find the centre position, somewhere in the centre. Only you can find that absolutely personal to you and your back shape and your pelvis shape. But just have that connection through the core. Relax the shoulders and we're going to lift the arms up and we lift the arms down. So we're not swinging, I want you to control this movement. Keep your back really still at this stage. So just lifting the arms up and down. Lovely, lifting up and down. Take a big breath in and out. Good work, go for two more. And last one, let's take it so it's the right arm. So just bring in the right arm up and then the left. Good, so just single arms. And as we do this, take the arms a little bit wider. So a little bit wider, past the midline point. Good, keeping your hips firmly forward. What I'd like you to do now is just to rotate round and then back, and the other side, and in. Good, so a little rotation round, but we keep the hips always forward. So just activating through the back now, without letting the hips and legs take over. So you want to get that movement, that warmth through the back. Good. One more each side. And then big circle round. Circle, circle, circle. Bring the arms in front. I want you to retract the shoulders. Now what I mean by that is just to pull the shoulders back and then back since we're not do not bend at the elbows. Do not bend at the elbows. Assertive Sarah there. Shoulders back, shoulders back. Beautiful. One more. This is quite tiring on the shoulders. Definitely find that when you're retracting. Arms up and over. Just give it a little bit of a break. Good. Last one. And then drop down, elbows high. Beautiful. We could take the feet a little bit wider if we want to for this. Lengthen spine, drop. And drop. Good work. One more each side. Beautiful. Bring the feet together, lifting the knees up. Up and down. Lovely. Last one coming up. And then take the leg back and then in back to centre. So just taking the leg back, squeeze the glutes, try not to rotate through the hips, keep the toe pointing downwards. 
Good, back and in. Squeeze those glutes. Lovely. Change sides. Again, try not to rotate the hip, toe pointing down. Squeeze the glutes, big muscles here, just keep warming up the glutes. Lovely, one more. Good stuff. Okay, little pedal push through. And then clap the heels down, lift up, breath in, and drop down. Chin head and roll shoulders forward, scoop up abs. And then pull up into your high arch. Excuse my stiff back, as always. Look up, high arch, chin tucked in. And take it back. Baby back bend, drop down. Bend the knees, forward, forward into this. And up. Step, vertebrae on top, one on top of the other. Drop down, forward, forward, bend the knees. Good, circle mount. And again, grab your band. So the band is in front, and I want you to lift it up. Now it's quite loose, so if you haven't got much resistance, just pull it down into your VW. So we're going to lift and lower. Let's try and get centered. <laughs> Can I get centered? Straight up and down, lovely. Squeeze the shoulders back, squeeze. You must have wonky arms, you must have one arm longer than the other. There we go. Good. Bring it in front. Make the band a little bit shorter and retract. So we did this earlier without the band, so you're going to pull back. Now you've got a little pull on the band, little pull forward. Pull and forward. Good. Two more. Keeping the band now quite tight. Down into your VW again. So now we need to pull on the band. Pull. And up. Pull. Good. Squeezing the elbows close together. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. And lift. And bring it in front. Look, you pop the band down and grab your ball. So still standing, take the ball behind. Lengthen and just loosely hold. Bring the band ball up and then drop down. So can you see we're lifting up and down? So working through the backs of the shoulders, up the back. And this, I think this is really great for posture as well because it's impossible really difficult, it just feels weird doing it leaning. So we need to get the shoulders back. Lovely, up and down we go. Lift and lower. Two more. And then on the next one, we're going to lift away from the body. Push away. If you're just joining me now, you might wonder what I'm doing. So I'm gonna come onto the side. Away, then lift up the body and down. Good. Up and down. One more. And pop the board down. Okay, here I just want you to take one hand, just place it onto the side of your head. This arm, squeeze in. So squeeze it in the armpit and just pull it over. Now don't yank on your head. This is a gentle, gentle pull. And then just stretch down here. This shoulder must remain low. Bring it up. Other side. Place the hand lightly onto your head. Do not yank on your neck. Squeeze in. In the front. Good work. And relax. Okay. Mass 
hand in front of you. Let's roll it down. Knees bent. Come into your calf stretch. Stretch through the backs of the legs. Let's lift up the knee on one and then the other. Bring your knees down to the mat. Scoop up the abs. Grab your ball. The ball goes behind one knee. Lengthen through the spine, lift the head slightly. You're going to point your toe up to the ceiling and little pulses. So the ball is squeezed in place behind your knee. And three, two, one. Bring it in and then take the neck out to the side. Good. Squeeze that ball. I'm going to keep that ball in place. Out and in. Out and in. Good work. This is strong now. Strong exercise for the glutes. Two and one. Okay. Ball in front. Just sink back to child pose. Up we come. Place the ball behind the other knee. Let's work on the other side. Lengthen through the spine. Abs pulled in. Good core connection. Let's go. Up and down toe, pointing to the ceiling. Little pulses, that's it, lift, squeeze those glutes, and then lift, out, and in. Good work, out and in, give me four more, three, two, and one, down onto your tummy, let's just get it out of the way. And take your arms out wide. So, upper body, we're going to lift the arm up and then drop and then lift. Yes. Turn your head. Each time you lift the arm, turn. One more. Last one. Take the knees wide. I'm just going to rest my head on my hands. Knees wide, heels together. Can you lift your legs from your hips? So we're going to lift up and up and Good work. Last two. Lift it up, push it up. Last one. And back onto your heels. Lengthen, stretch. Good. Over onto your back. Grab your band. Good stuff. So, one leg lengthened onto the mat. The other leg, we're going to pop the band in place here. Straighten the leg and then pull the leg in towards you. So, this leg is straight. Knees are um, straight. Breath in, breath 
Right. So we get a nice stretch on the backs of the legs. Little bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Change to the other side. Other leg, straight on the mat. This leg straight into the air. Bend and straighten. And lift up. Pull in a little. Good work. You can lift the head and shoulders up if you wish, your choice. And then slowly release. Pull the knees in and a little circle around on your lower back. You can go side to side. You can go forward and back, your choice. A little self massage. All good. Okay, bring yourself up. Over onto all fours. Tuck your toes under, back up to standing. And there we go. Stretch. Super stuff. So there is your Pilates. Focusing on posterior chain, so we started with shoulders, we did lower back, we did glutes, and then we stretched out the backs of our legs. So a good all-rounder for posterior chain. Hope you enjoyed that. Give me your feedback, I would love to hear, and I'll see you again on the next Feeling Fab in 15 minutes. Thanks again. Bye-bye.